Hello, I hope you're very well and I hope your family is very well too and that you're having happy times during lockdown and not too many trying ones. And if things do get difficult, I really hope you've got somewhere to go to watch TV, play games, whatever makes you feel safe and happy. A big thank you to Place to Be and BAFTA Kids for bringing us together right now. My name's Chris and you might have seen me on Show Me Show Me with that fella over there, Stuffy. And uh, we're together again, you know, on CBB's radio, because I'm making this show called CBB's Magic Den. It's a lot of nonsense, but hopefully it's good fun. And I'm hoping you'll enjoy it because it's very, very silly. And uh, during the show, we phone up a CBB's friend who talks about their den and they show us around and we go on this big trip together. It's all very bonkers and it's all about imagination and painting pictures in your mind, which is something that good radio should do. And that's what I love radio. I love radio as well as television and films. And it's quite nice to have a break from the screens every now and again. I'm sure you'll agree. Something that's really cheered me up during lockdown is watching old TV programmes, especially sitcoms. I love them. I'll show you some in a moment. But it's something you might like to try as well. Watch a programme that you watched years ago because it will remind you of happier times and um, it might bring back a few other memories as well. And it's escapism. Look, nobody's going to know if you watch something that's really babyish or something. It doesn't matter as long as you feel happy. Let me show you some of the sitcoms because they're on the wall of the staircase leading up to my den. Let's have a look. Tommy Cooper. If you've never heard of him, he was a very funny magician as well as a comic. Um, Only Fools and Horses. Have you ever seen that on gold? It's still running. I don't believe you, Rodney, you plonkar. Very funny. Oh, the two Ronnies and in late news tonight. Lots of funny women as well as funny men. Sue Pollard. who Miss Cathcart. She was in a programme called Heidi High, which is very, very funny. And that's on gold as well. David Walliams. So many people you might know or might not know. De- uh, Deborah Stevenson, a very good impressionist. But trust me, they're all funny. The Vicar of Dibley with Dawn French. Modern Family, which I've just finished watching. Very last series. Very funny. And an American sitcom. Uh, Heidi High. One of my first impressions was this man. Frank Spencer, mm, I'm having a bit of trouble, Betty. Oh, look, there's Les Dawson, Poi Fan. Um, some children's programs, animations that I've loved over the years. Oh, that's nice. I can play the piano with my feet. Mmm, hot dogs. And, oh, 40 Towers, great sitcom. And why are there so many songs about rainbows? Come the frog. One of my favourite films that I'm keen to watch again very, very soon, because I think it's right for right now, is called Coco. Have you seen it? It's beautiful. And it's got a beautiful message, which is all about love between family members and remembrance. Remember me, though I have to say goodbye. Remember me, don't let it make you cry. The music is sensational. And, um, yeah, for so many reasons... And because it really chimes with me, I recently, unfortunately, lost my father. He died, uh, which is very sad. Um, But I'm going to go on remembering him because of the wonderful person that he was. And also for all the help he gave me. Um, One of the great things that he did for me, I mean, so many great things, but he wrote lyrics for songs that I wrote. And one of them was called Old Tom's Boat. Well, Old Tom became Old Jack. And Old Jack's Boat became a programme on the television uh, with Bernard Cribbins and uh, all those wonderful characters and Sorty the Dog. And it all came from that song that my dad wrote. The reason why it became a TV programme is because Poi, who I work with, Poi Fan Lee, her son really loved the song and we kind of did it for him. And also we wanted to work with Bernard Cribbins, who doesn't? The master storyteller. Stories are a big part of everything I do, whether it's radio or television or pantomimes, because I also write and perform in pantomimes every year. And um, and I think that the most important thing about a panto isn't the music or the dancing or the jokes or anything. It is the story. And it's the same with just about everything that's any good in television and films. It's got to have a story. And so for that reason, um, I'd also like to recommend some books. (laughs) 
because I didn't read enough when I was a kid. I just didn't. I was too busy doing everything else. And I really wish I'd read more. And here are some of the books that I would recommend you read if you haven't read them already. The Complete Works of Charles Dickens, anything by Roald Dahl, David Walliams or P.G. Woodhouse. Let me finish by saying that I hope you stay safe and well and happy as things turn back to normal. And don't forget to maybe watch some old programmes that you haven't watched for a while. You can find them on the iPlayer and other places. And uh, you never know, it might just make you feel, uh, if not happy, um, certainly uh, it might remind you of happier times. Take care. All the best. 